This video is about the Schmidt trigger circuit. It's a classic circuit in electronics and in this video I want to show the fundamentals from this circuit. So the basics. Where can you use a Schmidt trigger for? For instance for an automatic battery charger or a voltage detector when the voltage gets too high something switches on or off. So that are the uh, important applications from a Schmidt trigger. Of course there are a lot of other applications but this is only a demo and you have to find it out yourself. This is how it works. It's a 741 op -amp, op amp operational amplifier and we set the uh, pin 2 from the 741 to a certain voltage, fixed voltage, by means of this potentiometer. And now when a varying voltage comes in on pin 3, that's the positive lead from the 741, um, when this voltage raises above the fixed voltage that we have set in here, the circuit starts to switch. And the hysteresis is set by this um, resistor. It's a sort of back coupling resistor. I found for instance that a resistor from 1K had no effect, it didn't work, but 100K had an effect. And you have to do, do uh, experiments to find the hysteresis that you want or need. This is the output. It's a bright red LED connected via a resistor from 820 ohms. It can also be 470 ohms or 1K, it doesn't matter much. And at the output we, found we find a voltage jump that can uh, uh, be used to switch something on or off eventually via a Darlington or a single uh, transistor with a relay for instance in the collector lead. This is the circuit how it looks like. This is the potentiometer. This is the back coupling resistor, the hysteresis resistor. This is the experimental 100k hysteresis resistor. This is the LED. Perhaps this whole, the whole circuit resembles a little bit a comparator circuit. That's on an earlier video on my channel. But I'm not sure how I made that uh, comparator circuit. Of course it works properly, but uh, I think that in this case the whole back coupling effect is much more sharp. And that means that the circuit can be used as a Schmidt trigger. And the Schmidt trigger can be compared to a marble on a seesaw, the voltage falls definitely to a low level, level or falls or rises definitely to a high level and there's no, no um, voltage in between. That's one of the basic properties from the Schmidt trigger. So this is how I made it with a 741 op amp, the potentiometer. The whole circuit is set now to work on 12 volts. I've turned the potentiometer to a certain value and this is the other um, power supply that supplies pin 3. And here you see the, the output voltage from that power supply. Now at the moment it's 9.09 .09 volts. And when I raise the voltage, suddenly the LED lights up. So this is the voltage where it lights up, 9.8, 9.7. And now we are going to search the voltage on where it switches off and that is 9.6. So there is a very small hysteresis 
from let's say one volt or so and that's caused by this the value from this resistor so when you change this the switch on and switch off point will um, give uh, different values so now again 10.0 and let's say 8.9. So it sharps. At, it uh, sorry. It uh, switches at a sharp level. Of course, the point where it switches can be changed by means of this potentiometer. So you can set the switching point to another voltage range. And you can also hear at the input a um, voltage divider, and that means that you can get the whole circuit working on a higher uh, input voltage. Try to draw it now. A little bit difficult with the camera. So here you get a higher voltage than let's say 10 volt. And the moment on which the whole circuit switches is set with the wiper from this potentiometer. So these are more or less the fundamentals from a Schmidt trigger switch. There's also a Schmidt trigger switch in my book and uh, that works with two transistors. <coughs> it also works very well, but this was a demonstration with uh, a Schmidt trigger with a 741 op amp. Also very useful. And of course you have to uh, amplify the output voltage jump with a transistor or a Darlington to make a relay switch that can switch something on or off. <coughs>